Okay, we got to get to the jargon of the day because we weren't here on Monday. And so we're going to do double dip jargon of the day. You know, when we do jargon, we take on one word, one phrase, one acronym. We try to figure out what in the hey, nani, nani are those experts talking about? Why do we need to know these things? And my, you know, my motto, if it can save us five minutes and five dollars, let's do it. Right. And I definitely think that learning jargon a little bit at a time can save you time and money. So we didn't do a live show on Monday. That's a long story. That's a whole other Oprah. But <laughs> we're not even talking about that. So we're going to double dip. And it honestly, it makes more sense to do these two together. So I don't know which one is first, Traven. So go ahead, show us which one is first. Hypotonia. You know the drill here, you guys. When we do jargon of the day, first we give you the actual definition. When there's something to be made fun of, we make fun of it. Um, because it's like, you know, you can't figure out the definition from the from the definition. Um, and then we give you a working definition and try to put it into some sort of context where we can start to understand it. We've never done these. We're about to do hypotonia and hypertonia. So let's take a, a look at what hypotonia is. These are brand new. The state of having hypotonic muscle tone. Woo! There's a lot to make fun of there, isn't it? This is the very definition of why we do jargon of the day. Because if you're an enterprising person and, you go, and you're in a room and somebody says your child has hypotonia, sometimes it does not behoove you to stop them and go, what on earth is that, right? Sometimes you just if there's a fast moving train and you're like, taking a note on your phone and I'm like, I'm going to look this up. How do you spell that? I'm going to look it up later on. And you look it up and you go, well, I'm so glad that I took the time to do that, right? Because if you don't know what hypotonia is, then you don't know what a hypotonic muscle tone is, right? Ladies and gentlemen, we have a winner here. Okay, let's go on to see our working definition and see if, there, see if there's any help for us. You know, Elio Hanavan says, help yourself. Um, hypotonia is decreased tension or floppiness in the muscles. So uh, when we have, sometimes we have kiddos who um, don't have a lot of core strength and we don't want to confuse that with hypotonia, although it can go hand in hand with hypotonia, that we have kids that just don't have enough muscle tone to be able to do the things that we're asking them to do. And this is really important that if your kiddo, kiddo is, is having a lot of tr trouble doing things that you see other kids their age being able to do, to check. Um, because for instance, you know, they we see a lot of kids who lay down all the time. You try to sit them in the crisscross applesauce and they lay down. And, you know, it's very easy for a teacher to mistake that and go, well, he needs to sit up. He needs to attend. Because that's the thing we're always trying to get to is when you can attend. I hate that phrase. Can they attend? Um, you know, but but the truth of the matter is, is if you're going to learn something, you have to be able to have the facility to focus on the thing that's being taught to you. It might be that you really want to learn it, but you're not in a place where you can you physically can't sit up to learn it. How well are you going to learn it? You're not, right? And often people mistake, you know, hypotonia for someone who just doesn't care and doesn't want to learn. But if we can start to work on hypotonia and help someone to have the core strength to be able to sit up, um, then that's going to help them to be able to attend. If you don't have the ability, if your muscles are not toned enough and you're, and, and sometimes, you know, we have kids that are like spaghetti arms and legs that they just, they don't have the muscle tone. This is not their fault. This is not the parent's fault, but they need some extra support to get that tone in that muscle so that they can. And there's all kinds of things that they can do. And, and again, there's a continuum for this, um, that there are some kids who just have core um, strength issues, and we can work just on that. As I said, that's not strictly hypotonia. Hypotonia would be that in, in all areas of the body. Um, but in either case, we're going to work on those muscles, and we're going to work on it in a way that's empathetic and aware of the fact that the individual has something going on that's preventing them from learning it in the way that maybe someone else who doesn't have this would. So um, I can tell you that one of the best things that we're aware of to help um, some kiddos, not all kiddos, to work on that core strength is working with horses. That this is where I really recommend equine therapy with a good equine therapist because the kiddo is so motivated. The horses are amazing and they're 
gentle and they're kind and they sense something in our kids. But I have seen kids who really are struggling and, 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 you know, you try to get them to sit up and they don't want to like, what's in it for me. Right. But suddenly when you put them with horses and they get to pet the horses and, and groom the horses and whatever, and work towards being able to first lay on the horse. But what they really want to do is sit up and ride the horse. So they will work harder on those muscles um, with hypotonia. So that's hypotonia. Thanks for watching Autism Live. If you found anything helpful in this video, please give us a like. In fact, make sure that you smash that subscribe button on YouTube and give us a like on Facebook. You can also follow us on Twitter and Instagram for important updates. And please download our free podcast wherever you get your podcasts. See you next time. Until then, give your kiddos a hug from me and one for you too. Bye-bye for now. To subscribe, click here. And if you'd like to check out some more of our videos, click here.